Okay, we're running a, a test of a new tool fabricated to put the bungee gear, put the bungees on the landing gear of a Taylorcraft L2M. If this works, it should work as well for uh, Cubs, different Cub types, J3s, Legend Cubs, so on and so forth. I have already cut off the old bungee. Ah. The old bungee has been removed. New bumpers have been made. This is to prevent uh, metal on metal when the uh, bungees pull the gear back. New bungee cord, and here's our new tool. So first we're gonna attach the landing gear leg to the end of the tool that it's gonna rotate over. Next, we slip the bungee over the tool over the gear leg rather flip it over like this to catch the end of our tool I'm going to squeeze this a little bit and I'm going to attach it to the ear on the bottom of the gear leg okay at this point we're going to try our clip to see if this is going to work as a safety clip there's enough tension downforce on this plate to wedge our safety clip underneath it and as we increase the pressure it's only going to increase the downforce here so the first thing we need to do is start pulling the bungee and I'm going to squeeze in to make sure that the center of the bungee will wrap around the top portion of this gear leg so as it's coming up I just give it a little squeeze with my hands and it's inside the collars at the top of the uh, gear leg. Now that I'm coming up over center, I'm gonna hold some of that tension back and come over here to my come along and tighten this up. And this is what's gonna draw and stretch the bungee. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and bring that in just a little bit more. Now that I have enough tension on there, this is something we haven't tested out. Oh yeah, we got our clip right off, which is what we're hoping for. I'm holding the gear leg and I'm drawing a little more tension. I get better leverage if, if I'm at the end of the gear leg. And then as this is coming down, I'm just going to stretch it until I could drop the top of the opposite side of the uh, ear or collar for the bungee into my little collar shaped end of my tool and I'm just about there I'm there okay now I'm gonna hold that down and I'm gonna try to pop this bungee off the tool and onto the collar and there she goes. Well, I got it on one side, not the other. It's gonna get it all the way off. I think I need a little more tension. Oh, no, I think we have. No, we just, the whole thing just shifted. That's what's causing that. And I should still be able to pop this off though. There it is. Okay, one bungee is on. We'll do another bungee in just a moment. Okay, a couple of little details on the tool. Uh, we've got a double bracket here so I could through bolt just the way it is on the landing gear of the airplane and keep it loose enough so I could have a swivel here. This plate is the draw, it's actually like the draw plate for the bungee. So we've got, this is just welded up. Any way you can figure to, uh, uh, you know, pull your draw plate is fine. Uh, this tool is just something I happen to have the materials in the shop, so I made it. I've got it bolted down to my welding table. Unfortunately, my vise is welded down to my welding table, so it's in the way. Ordinarily, this would be a lot easier if I didn't have to come over the top of the vise. So, again, in theory, what we're doing is getting the bungee in position, getting it in position on the uh, uh, one loop, the very beginning, on the collar of the gear leg. 
bringing the gear leg up, stretching the bungee at that point, but having the, the draw plate in tight enough so that it's not impossible to stretch that bungee. Our clip is at this point underneath the uh, plate and over the top of the bungee. As I'm pulling this bungee tighter, it's creating down force on the plate, which locks in that pin, and that way the bungee, to prevent the bungee from slipping off on its own. Once I get it up over center, it releases that down force tension. There's still tension in this direction, but not the down force tension. That makes it easy to pull my little safety clip off. And again, I'm bringing, I'm drawing now with the uh, come along. I'm stretching my bungees around the, the, the draw plate. I'm stretching the bunny bungee. I've got this uh, shape cut out to match the collar that the bungee has to flip over onto. So I'm pulling the tension until I go just beyond, drop this in, then with a pry bar, I'm just popping the bungee off and onto the collar. Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate that now again with the second bungee. All right, we put the bungee, loop it over the gear leg, up and over on top of the draw plate. I'm pulling the draw plate to its limit got my standby clip here we're getting ready okay I'm pinching this right now with my hands just so there's so the the bungee is so stiff it'll just kind of come off on its own but if I just pinch it with my hands it kind of holds it in position and if you could see the bottom it's I still have enough slack that I could just position the bungee where I want it to be okay now I'm creating some of that downforce all right so what I'm going to do, just hold this in position, I'm going to put the clip underneath the plate, underneath my draw plate, I could even lift it a little bit, okay, now it's over the top of the bungee cord, I'm still in position down here on my collar, and I'm going to start to use, I'm using the leverage of the length of the gear leg itself for me to pull and stretch this bungee, okay, so I'm going to pull up. Right? And again, as I'm coming up, the bungee wants to go to the outside of this collar right here. All I need to do is just give it a little squeeze with my fingers, my hand, and it comes into position and I'm going to let it seat itself where it wants to seat. It should roll over those, those other bungees and go into position. Okay. Now that I've come up over center, this would be center straight out. I'm over center. It should release some of the down force on this clip. Maybe I'll go a little further. Oh, I still got a lot of down force on there. I think because I got one bungee over the top of the other. And that is creating some extra tension in there. Okay, here it comes. Just got to wiggle it out. bar to give me a little leverage on it. Okay, here it comes. See if I can keep it from hitting the floor. Okay. Here's my clip. Now I'm going to hold this in an over center position but I don't want to lay it down yet because this will just want to tend to pop off right now. So I'm going to draw the draw plate and stretch my bungee so that I can get this collar to drop in right there. And I'm using my come along for that. Okay, I'm gonna let this come down a little further. And then I can just kind of watch to where I've got the bungee stretched enough to drop this in. Really, there's, it's kind of holding itself at that point, but I'm not going to take my hands off of it. And I'm almost there. There's 
not a tremendous amount of, amount of pressure even on this uh, come along. I'm just going slowly. I'm keeping an eye on what's going on here. Okay, now I'm going to again try to pop this bungee over the little collar right here and onto the ear of the gear leg. And I'd like to do it simultaneously, both sides at once. So if I get under the middle, that should help do it that way. There she goes. And there you got the double bungees. I would like to move this one out. I might be able to do that with my pry bar. This one seemed to have seated itself correctly, but on this side, this one is kind of tucked under the other. So I'll see if I could leverage that out with my pry bar and slide it over this way. And that's that. When I put the second bungee on, where uh, one bungee overlaid on top of the other instead of moving, you know, this one moving in and seating itself correctly, it did on the other side, but not on this side. So. We'll, I was looking for a way to just kind of pull this one out a little further, let that one drop in. And uh, I was looking for something blunt that wouldn't do any damage to the threads, the cord. And what I saw was uh, that if I slipped a something in between, let's see, it was on this side. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Same thing. If I could slip something in, this one was over the top of this one. This one was on the inside little piece of half inch uh, hot water PVC line I was able to just put it in position here and I just gave it a slight tap it didn't take much at all because it really wants to seat over and it, it dropped further in and this one got into the correct position and what I'm thinking for the future is possibly using a little piece of wax paper underneath the bungee cords it won't affect the performance of the bungee cords at all and eventually it'll go away but the wax paper may help the, uh, the bungees slide a little better on the metal frame and go right into position where they should be.